Not even just the streets. Not just in Bompton. No, because they don't walk around in Bompton streets. You ain't never seen. What, ha what happened with Fruit when, when, when Soldier Boy came to Bompton? Okay. What happened when, I haven't heard of Chris Brown walking around Bompton. No. These motherfuckers want to be able to walk around in public with and feel normal. And they walk around feeling normal with thugs and homies that's real in the street. Like, ain't nobody going to test them. Ain't nobody going to test them. Somebody test them, there's going to be some shit right then and there. They want that sense of freedom. That's the same thing that when it comes to, you have to use that formula with, with the record, with the music industry. They use that same lightweight formula with, as artist development. The artists, the big artists, they can't go out and roam around as free, as free people. So they sign a gang of people to the label that's connected to the street, that's still the, uh, the artist, like the new artist development, the new artist that's talented, that's tied to the street, that can leave and go as they come. That's why the main artists stay fucking with the people, the, 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 under, the under artists, to have that connection, to, to keep on getting the ideas, the lingo. They, that's why they attach themselves to the street element, because now they're corporate. They don't have, they don't have a connection to the street other than the gangs or artists that's still connected to the streets. What are the gang politics in the industry right now? Oh, man. The bag. That's it. And that covers a wide aspect. That, that covers a lot of shit. The bag goes anywhere from management, security, artist, producer, any, because it's not a certain type of person that can make music. Anybody can make music, and anybody can be affiliated with anywhere. So it's not like you have to be just a blood to do this. No, you could be anything that you want to be in any one of them fields. But since it's a, it's a tidal wave of, uh, it's a red tsunami, it just happens that majority of the people are bloods now and they're talented. So now you know, they're moving in these, into these positions. So anything that has to do with the bag, they're, 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 it's, it's a go, it's a go. Same thing with the, anybody, like, like, like the homosexuals. Same thing, like, they're in all the fields and they got they have mad they got super duper money you got to you know it's not just okay being a blood it'd be prosperous to be no it's whatever you be it's just you go the homosexuals they got they they in the, embedded in the entertainment field so fucking crazy it's, it's pathetic the blood's starting to have an upsurge instead of shit you know you know next you know now that society's starting to get tired of the bloods who's gonna be next <clears throat> it's gonna be the crips again <coughs> it's gonna be the Crips again. <coughs> they make, they've been making their comeback. They've been making. That's why they've been so quiet. That's why it's only been certain groups that pop up, certain songs that pop up, because they've been recruiting and regrouping. And it's not. It got to be in the mid to late '80s, and N.W.A. came out, and this whole gangster rap industry started to grow. What, what, what were you thinking as this unfolded? These fools getting paid for all this shit. Ain't looking like me. The shit I was doing for nothing. Now, one of them mentioned my name, because they know my name. Believe me, bro. Any, any blood, but Any crib, blood, anybody know who I am. Just like they know who their elders are. They're not mentioning none of our names. They're not mentioning people's names that was reputable. You know what I'm saying? None of them guys mentioned Raymond Washington. None of them guys mentioned me. None of them guys mentioned Bulldog. None of them guys mentioned uh, Donald Archie, Pookie, uh, uh, Tuki, uh, uh, anybody. They glorify themselves. And when they, when they, when they, when they get to the, the, the media, social media, they think that those who the blood of the Crips is. Right? Those are the ones they getting paid. Now, like I said, man, nobody, be about, nobody validated nobody. But nobody tells they was lying either. So what do you think about that old checking in thing? And why wouldn't a guy like you or somebody get involved with that? Um, more will be revealed. I say it that way. Because now I ain't got intelligence now. I'm a little sharper than what I was. I know I'm not, I wasn't back crying anymore. Go ahead and get paid. Go ahead and blow up. Be big as you want to be. But I say more will be revealed. Tens of billions of dollars have been made. Has even a small trickle of that been put back into the community by these guys who are from the hood? Man, let me tell you right now, they're sprinkling salt. They're sprinkling salt. We and communities are kissing asses. Right? Just so they can donate to their communities. You see what I'm saying? There, enough money's been made to really Man, change. Yeah, who needs a billion dollars? Name one person 
like me who need a billion dollars. I'll be happy with 500 million. Once you get past 10 or 20 million, what do you even do with I, it? I, I, I'm just saying though, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who needs a billion dollars? I totally agree. If you are seriously from whatever it is you say you're from, why don't you take half that billion and knock it off to that city that, you've been, that they made you? Because without that city, there'd be no you. Yeah, Compton could be fucking flush with cash. But, you so, so, but you, guess what though? You're not doing that. You're selfish. And you use them. Now, guess what? They're not going to be mad because any dime that you give them is an is a appreciated dime. You know what I'm saying? Because they know if, if, you, if you're going to drop your shit, your turds anywhere, might as well be on Compton. Right? But man, look at here. That's bullshit. I mean, 500 million will take care of you, your own generation, the next one after that, and the ones that come. Forever. You know what I'm saying? It's 50 million a year in interest. So, so what the hell are you worried about? Anything else? I know you want to be the biggest motherfucker that you ever been, but that's not helping those that's out there in those tents living, and, and those starving, and those who playing your music. You going under the freeway and hear your music playing. Right? Under your freeway, are you going on these freeways and hear homeless motherfuckers playing your music. And this is how you Gang culture as a product is bigger than ever in terms of it being used to sell stuff. But you, and you can't go back and get that to them? Still gonna be rich. Nobody's gonna get 500 million but you. If you was giving away 500 million, that's gonna be distributed so many damn ways that nobody's gonna see one million. So therefore, uh, nobody's gonna catch up to you. You made it, man. Your, our objective is to make it, right? Not waste it. But maybe some, some of us just wanna have it to throw away. Cause guess what? That shit gonna. <laughs> Just ego gratification at that that's point. That's what's how it is. You want the power to kill somebody now? You want to draw contact? <laughs> you want to be a uh, John Guy now? <laughs> you want to be You want to be somebody a bad boy now? Man, come on, man. Is the real gang culture slowly dying out, and, and is that good? And is the fake gang culture at an all-time high? Fake gang culture is an all-time high. The real gang culture. You really don't see it as much because... And that's good, right? It's a good thing. Keep everybody out your fucking business. Because, see, you don't want to see... That's one thing about it. Back in the day, it was cool for everybody to see where we were coming from and to try to initiate. But now, in today's time, you, like I said, you don't know who to trust. You got too many motherfuckers embracing too many motherfuckers for one thing. You don't know where this motherfucker come from. All they you do is take his word for it that he's cool. Man, I'm not gonna be deceived no more unless I can do a background check on anything and come up with some valid information on this person. You know, I gotta have some history on anybody I deal with now. I have to, because if it's anything that got something to do with our business, our family, trust and love, you got to know who you're dealing with and what they're capable of doing. They, if they have no ineffective, bad situation that happened in their life, you know what I'm saying? Anything that could uh, create a uh, potential threat or danger towards me and my loved ones or you know, my business, then they're welcome aboard. You know what I'm saying? Other than that there, man, uh, nobody's coming to my error into my business without being fully checked. See, now, if you're a so-and-so son, and I know you'll see all your life, you have a history because somebody else come, you know, everybody, somebody would know somebody. You say everybody knows somebody. Everybody must know someone. Like everybody must teach someone. We can find where your learners came from, where your teachers came from, and then we can evaluate just what you learned and what you didn't even talk. You said what characteristics have you developed? So is this a lot like an Italian, a real mafia family? Yeah. Where you can't just show up like, hey, I'm Italian, I want to be in. No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm Italian. No. I'm a Corleone. No, where the, yeah. No, Whose nephew there. are you? Like, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not, I just, Donatello's nephew, yeah. I just been gone for the last yeah. 30 years. Doesn't work. But I'm home now. Yeah. Okay, well, well, motherfucker, no, you're not home now. You're here now. You just left home. Oh, man. Okay, see, yeah, that's the difference. You're here now. You, 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 you're here where you should have been if you're one of us. Because, see, one thing I say, we're designed to find you. Should never miss you. What was designed to miss you? Should never find you. So therefore, if you're at home, you've been found a long time ago. 
right? Because if you were missed, you weren't home. Or if you weren't missed, you weren't home. No, yeah, yeah. If, if you weren't missed, you weren't home. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to tell you right now, this don't play the game. This goes all reality. I'm not going to love you because you say God is good. I'm not going to love you like I told the gang members. See, we're intrigued with, you know, with all that shit. Nah, homie, put that shit back like that. You see, put, put your pants up. Let's talk. From right here, right? Because this here, you're blinding me. You're trying to blind me with some mud shit, right? You're throwing me off now, right? If I was a cute little girl or a little wannabe ass dude, I'd be intrigued by that. Right now, that's bullshit. I had too many people doing life sentence right now. And also on death row. Because your pants were sagging and they trusted you. Right? Because your attitude, you know, your hard code, John, the way you carried yourself, you was hard. Man, fuck all that. It ain't that shit that, that the sells me no more. And how you can say cuz, or how you can say blood, or how the blood can flow off your tongue. That don't mean shit to me no more. Your attitude, that's a shield. I, anybody that I can't approach to talk to with intelligence, I, I watch that person hard. You know why? Because he's hiding behind a shield. 